How little diversity the fantasy genre has when it comes to race and gender can be seen by looking at the film Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them from 2016. The film directed by David Yates is a spin-off of the Harry Potter franchise, but whilst telling a different story, its characters are very similar, especially when it comes to their race and their gender. The film pushing the idea that the fantasy genre is not exceptionally diverse. Fantastic Beasts shows a choice to tell a similar story to Harry Potter, rather than tell a story that would have represented a wider range of different people. Fantastic Beasts is not inherently racist or sexist by any means. The film suffers from a diversity problem that is apparent in the Hollywood film industry overall. Brooks says that much contemporary academic writing has criticised mainstream media for their negative depictions of African American women. I wanted to include this here to make sure it is understood that Fantastic Beasts does not wrongly or negatively depict women in their film, nor people of colour. It is that the film, like many others that are similar to it, do not try to bring to life characters that are different from many that have come before. The film almost fears veering too far away from the story Harry Potter has already told. By having the main character closer to mirrors of the ones from Harry Potter, they are choosing to try and be safe rather than inclusive. To put it blatantly, fantasy films are very white. Systems of racial oppression depend upon the notion that one can distinguish between empowered and disempowered races. That fantasy films are all about powerful beings and the white image is more powerful. Or maybe the belief that the white image is more powerful. It can often be seen as a safe option considering how many times it has been done before. White fantasy heroes, especially white males, I believe to, will sell better than fantasy heroes of colour. We already know that fantasy film is not the only genre that suffers from lack of representation. Lack of women and people of colour is an issue across cinema as we already established, but it is much more noticeable in fantasy film because most of the flagship franchises of fantasy cinema are led by mainly white cast members. The lead heroes or hero, is also mainly, and usually, a white male. Lord of the Rings, 2001-2003, Star Wars from 1977 to 1983 being the original trilogy, and Harry Potter from 2001 to 2011. These are the highest grossing fan uh, film franchises, and they're all led by white heroes. Even the Marvel Cinematic Universe waited a decade before they decided to make their first female lead film and first person of colour lead film. Kim says, The films generally draw their racial and colour coding from the novels, but in the visual medium, many aspects appear more striking. The want to stay true to source material is important, but often leads to missed opportunities for wider representation. This also backs production's own ideas, that the need for representation is not there, and these films sell so well without it. This leads into the issue that making a fantasy film about a person of colour does not make sense to many if they believe it would work the same with someone who is white. Gaines says, The governing look of the male character in the film merges with the spectator's viewing position in such a way that the spectator sees as the character sees. Seeing strong males makes the larger audience of males feel strong and more connected with the film. Schubert says, Where men's weightlifting at a gym fits the dominant conceptions of masculinity as well as heterosexuality, for women, the same activities tended to bring their femininity and heterosexuality into question. There is fear of changing the formulaic approach to fantasy cinema, and representation is the main issue that takes the biggest hit from this need for formula. Fantastic Beasts shows us that there is a diversity issue in fantasy cinema as it mainly represents people of white skin colour. It is often that fantasy films could have been more diverse, but they are afraid that something that looks different will not sell. The fantasy genre tells similar stories because they believe them to be safe, when they should be more diverse as the race of characters should not be important in telling stories like Fantastic Beasts and others from the fantasy genre.